Hey, what's up everybody? Guess what country I'm in? I'm in Singapore. Yes. I'm only here for roughly 24 hours. This is pretty much a visa run and I decided to come to a country where I've never been and that I could probably see some things within one day. I know I'm definitely gonna have to come back and visit for like two or three days to really get the full experience. But uh, yeah, let's go check out Singapore, guys. to Aljunid station and I'm gonna walk to my hotel. Wow, I just got out of the station and already I'm seeing like lots of food. Look at all that. But I gotta get to my hotel first. Okay, first impressions of Singapore. Uh, looking around, it's like a very, very clean version of downtown Honolulu. The trees look almost exactly the same. The grass, it's just everything is clean and spotless. That's Singapore for you. I don't see any trash. Um, yeah, it's very nice. And there's one thing I completely overlooked about Singapore. It's just like Japan and uh, the United Kingdom. They drive on the left side of the road. Wow, look at those apartment buildings. They have the Singapore flag on every floor. I think there was a national holiday just recently because I saw someone's Instagram post that showed a lot of this. Pretty cool. And here's my hotel. The sign looks really dirty, but it was cheap. $24 a night here, just a standard bed. That's all I need for one night. Here it is, guys. The smallest hotel room I've been in in a very long time. There's me. Just a little nightstand kind of thing and a kettle, bed, blankets, mini TV, curtains, and a very tiny narrow bathroom with a wet bath shower. Oh, weird. They open up like this. Some breeze in here. This place is hot. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I left the hotel and I'm gonna go meet up with uh, some friends. But uh, there's some dark clouds and thunder and I don't have an umbrella. Yay. Very pretty. Yeah. This is a perfume shop. Yeah, it's a perfume shop. Wow, look at that. So many little perfumes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Petito Karipa, dua. Ah, uh, tak kentang ya? Ah, dua. The show you the. In a bag. Yeah, in a bag. Banyak banyak. This is called uh, curry puff. And what's what's inside? Uh, it's just potato. Just potato? Yeah, it's a pastry containing potato. Yeah. 
Uh, this is the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then what kind of uh, tea is this? Uh, actually, it's the milk tea, but... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just that they probably, you know, use more condensed milk than... Uh, yeah. I see. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, it looks... It's similar to like your coffee in Vietnam, I guess. It looks very uh, bubbly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Iskandar, thank yeah. you. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, let's try this out. That's just a snack? Yeah, it's just a snack. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> this could be a meal for me. No, mm. it's, just, it's just a snack. We are going to Singapore Samsung. Yeah. This is the murtabak, and this one is chicken. Chicken, yes. My god, that thing is huge. Yeah. Looks really good. And then over here is another murtabak, and this one is mutton. Wow, look at that. Okay, so we're gonna get some of this curry, we're gonna put it in here. We'll get some of this chicken murtabak here. We'll mix it up with some of that curry. Go for the mutton. Break up a piece here. Get that sauce. Yeah, there it is. The the texture on top is completely different yeah. from the other one. And there's no like heavy mutton taste or anything like that. Hey guys! Hey. They're showing me around Singapore. You guys were born and raised here, right? Yep. This is the home, homeland. Yep. It's a very beautiful place. We're just uh, walking around after we ate. Yeah. The air temperature is really nice. It's much cooler here than it is in Hanoi. <laughs> Same humidity, but much cooler temperature. And this is a very beautiful city at night. Like all the lights come on, it's very colorful. It's very expensive. <laughs> Look at this cityscape. And there's the Marina Bay Sands. Mm. And they're having a kind of like a water show over there in the distance. Wow. Beautiful. Many couples come out here to chill out and just enjoy the scenery. So this bridge is called the Helix Bridge? Yeah, the Helix Bridge. Yeah, and so it's um, designed off of the helix, essentially. <laughs> so they even have um, the, the molecule things here. Like there's G mm -hmm. and C, T and A. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Four, four letters? Yeah, four letters. Yeah, so you're essentially like walking through like a DNA <laughs> double helix bridge. Mm. Doing a wedding photo shoot here. Yep. Yeah, this is the common scene. Alright, we are in the shops at Marina Bay Sands. It's a giant shopping mall, right? Yeah, it's a giant shopping mall. It looks... Because there's a casino here as well. There's a casino here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marina Bay? Uh, no, the Sands. So that's why they call it Marina Bay Sands. I feel like I'm in an airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we stepped outside and there's uh, a giant like giant bowl? Bowl. <laughs> Let's check out this bowl. Whoa. That's mesmerizing. Yeah. You should see the, the item, the, the thing below. 
because everything will just go down. Mm. Oh, they turn the water off yeah. and then it goes down? Yeah. I guess it's like maybe Asian, wherever it is, they want some kind of movement of water in front of something. Mm. So they say that it brings uh, luck or like, you know, maybe like good charm or something. Like that. Yeah. There's where the spinning water is draining down into that little water fountain area. All right, Gardens by the Bay. And there is the Singapore Flyer. Here's the super trees. Right now they're blue. It's very, um, like Avatar-ish. <laughs> it looks like Avatar. Good morning everybody. It is day two here in Singapore. And unfortunately, it's not gonna be a full day. I actually have to head to the airport in roughly three hours. I really wish I could go to Little India or Chinatown. There's just no time. Um, so I'm in the Geylang area, and this is definitely a foodie town. Um, but at this time right now, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of things open. I think there's some 24 hour joints, some kind of like hawker stalls or something. And so I'm just gonna kind of roam around for a little bit, try to find some food show you guys uh, some of the cool stuff that's around just like the Geylang area and then um, essentially that's pretty much it for this video. So my bed was um, okay, it was comfy, it's just really short, like my feet were definitely dangling off the bottom here. I'm six feet tall and my head was literally like up against this wall. So yeah, small bed but at least it was comfy, I slept okay and Woke up this morning to a lot of wind and this kind of weather here. I hope it doesn't rain while I'm walking around. Found a little small hawker center here and this guy's open 24 hours and there's a line of people here. So I decided that guy must be good. Some nice pieces of shrimp, there's some tofu, got some good old noodles. This broth smells great, I can smell the coconut coming off of it. It's very savory and sweet. Let's go ahead and try some. Mm. The flavor of this laksa is amazing. It's way better than any laksa I've had in uh, Korea or elsewhere. I also got this um, little side dish here with this sliced red chilies and I don't know what kind of sauce that is. I'm assuming it's like soy based. I'm just gonna take a piece of this, dip it in there, get that spice going. Wow, that's nice and spicy. I love that. I'm gonna try it with the tofu. Okay, tofu has been properly dipped into that chili sauce. Look what I stumbled upon. Tons of durian. Wow. Like a wall of durian. It's very pungent. It smells very sweet.
Okay, we're back at uh, Changi Airport. Check out this. This is a very awesome looking space. I'm here at the food streets in the airport. And there's just a ton of food here. It looks really good. I feel like I'm not in the airport. <laughs> Okay, I got myself a watermelon and lemon mixed juice. I'm just killing some time before my flight. I was gonna get some food, but they said it was gonna take like 15 to 20 minutes to get the order ready, and I didn't wanna wait that long, so I'm just gonna have this, and then maybe uh, find a lounge or bar and have a beer or two before my flight. All right guys, I found the Carlsberg Sports Bar here in the airport. Picked up a pint of Carlsberg beer. And um, this is kind of my tradition when I travel. I definitely have a beer or two at the airport. It helps you kind of loosen up the nerves and prepare you for the flight. Cheers. That's good. So it's time for me to head through the gate and um, board my flight in about like 10 minutes or so. So I just wanna like wrap up this video and um, give you some of my thoughts. So I've been in Singapore for only 24 hours. Seems like a long time. It feels like a long time, but it actually just flew by so quickly. Um, you know, the whole main goal of this journey was to do my visa run. So it wasn't like a vacation. It wasn't supposed to be like a three to four day trip and see the whole city, experience all kinds of cool stuff and especially eat food. It wasn't that kind of a journey uh, this time, so um, I'm definitely gonna have to come back, aim for three to four days. That'll give me plenty of time to check out like all the stuff I missed. Um, big shout out to Suhaila and Iskandar for meeting up with me last night and just like showing me all the cool stuff down near uh, Marina Bay. And um, yeah, it was just so beautiful. Singapore is freaking beautiful and uh, I can't wait to come back. It's such a cool place. All right, thanks guys. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, check me out on social media and Patreon, and I love you all, and I'll see you guys back in Vietnam. Bye.